Hello, my name is Brooks Cunningham. Today I'm going to be giving a demo and overview of the Edge rate limiting product. For detailed information, please visit docs.fastly.com. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using Terraform for the initial configuration. I can easily see uh, the configuration that's already applied in that state by using this command Terraform apply auto approve. I've already staged the configuration and applied it to our uh, Fastly delivery uh, platform to expedite this demo. So what I can do here is I can grab this information to actually do the test. And what this is gonna demonstrate is rate limiting the request header user dash ID. It's a really common use case where customers want to rate limit off of some type of HTTP header that indicates who the user is. Um, this can sometimes be a cookie value. This can be a header, especially with APIs, a specific uh, API key value or API uh, user ID. In this example, I'm just using the HTTP request header user ID. So I'm just send this request, and then we're going to quickly see that all the requests um, quickly become blocked after the rate limit is exceeded. It's worth noting that it's only this particular user. ID that would actually get blocked. So if I continue to send more requests with this user ID with a value of one, I should see these requests being blocked, which we do. If I send requests with a different user ID, the requests are allowed through and blocked. So this way, if there's a given customer or users that are using different user IDs, user different sessions, you can apply different um, independent rate limits for those uh, specific users or those user sessions. So that way, if they're going between different IP addresses, if they're going between different um, locations, then their specific rate limit is enforced. This is highly customizable. We've also seen a number of other use cases such as rate limiting on the URL itself, rate limiting off of IP address, geolocation, and many other use cases. Please let us know if you have any questions about this setup. And again, you can find out additional information on docs.fastly.com. Thank you for the time.